In ArcGIS Pro, we can take data offline for editing in a similar fashion as when we're working with collector or runtime apps. In this video, I'm going to publish a sync-enabled feature layer to my portal. I can assume this within Pro. I'll then take it offline to perform some basic editing and analysis. The first thing we need to do is publish our data. I'm signed in with an account that has permissions to publish, and I have data here to which I've already added global IDs. In this example, my data is registered using traditional versioning, with the exception of my 911 calls feature class, which is non-versioned with archiving enabled. If desired, I could also choose to use branch version data. So I'm going to share this, give this web layer a name, write a brief summary, and include a couple of tags to make it easier for discovery by others in my group. As you can see, feature is already selected as my layer type, and since I want to share this to a subset of my organization, I'm going to choose the option here to limit access to the group. Before I publish, I need to make sure that I update the properties for this feature layer to enable sync. Enabling sync is a requirement for taking the data offline for editing and can be found here under the configuration tab within the share pane. Once that's done, I'll analyze my map and we're ready to publish. Now that our sync enabled feature layer is published, we can prepare our data for offline editing. First, I need to create a map. So I'll navigate to my portal tab within the catalog pane. And since I shared it with my group, I'm going to select that group tab, open it, find the feature layer, and add that to a new map. In this emergency response scenario, I want the ability to take my map offline to assist first responders working to coordinate debris removal from an emergency operations center with unreliable connectivity. Once I've zoomed into my desired area of interest, I can take this data offline using the download map button down here within the offline group on the map ribbon. Something to be aware of when doing this is that the visible map extent determines what's downloaded locally to my mobile geodatabase. I also have the option to download my base map at various extents. I'm going to select this option and then click download to begin the process. Once the download is completed, you can see that my map layers are no longer referencing the feature layer but have been swizzled to reference a mobile geo database stored locally on my machine. With this complete, I just need to authorize Pro to work offline and I'm ready to go into the field. In this example, I'm working with first responders to identify where debris might be blocking roadways and impacting cleanup and response times. Here I have added a few more reports of debris and I want to perform some basic analysis to identify which roadways might be impacted. To make my edits available to the rest of my team and the first responders, I just need to sync my edits back with my hosted feature layer. Unlike a checkout replica, I can sync my edits as often as I choose to and continue to work with this data offline. If I want to pull in updates made to the service since my last download, I can do this by deleting my download using the Remove button here, which removes the local storage and resources my layer should point to the feature layer. I can then create a new download using the same process as before. Mm -hmm. 